Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's learn how to touch up photos in iPhoto 11. So here I am looking at an event and I'm going to double click on a photo to go into it. And then I'm going to click the edit button at the bottom. This will take me to the touch up area. And I can do several things here on the right. Let's start with one of the easiest things and this photo obviously needs to fix the red eye in it. You can see it right there. So I'm going to click on fix red eye and instantly you'll see that the red eye has been fixed. That's because when you click that button it will automatically fix it and you can see the check mark there for auto fix red eye. Now if I wanted to manually fix it, say that didn't do a very good job, I can unclick that and you can see the red eye is back. And then I could select a size for the red eye tool. If I wanted to I could zoom in here on the eyes a little bit better. So now I can select something that's about the right size for the eyes and then I simply click on the eyes and fix it. If I want to save these changes I press the done button. Otherwise I can click undo here or revert to original to go all the way back. Now the main tool for touching up a photo is the retouch tool. Click there and then basically you can select an area in here and touch it up and you can see what it does. It kind of removes blemishes. In this case it removed a part of my beard. I can undo it there. I can change the size of the retouch area very easily. And one of the cool things you can do with retouch is you can select the area that you want it to select from. So for instance the default here you can see what it does there. I can hold the option key down and select an area here. And you can see it does a kind of similar thing but if I were to select an area here inside my beard and then apply that here. It actually adds more beard there because it's sampling from this area. Now if you want to adjust the entire photo, uh, the colors, brightness, contrast, things like that, one tool you can use is just simply to click enhance and that will change the entire photo. Uh, if that doesn't get you the result you want, you can revert back to the original and go to the adjustment tab here at the top. And then you can do all sorts of things to adjust the levels and play with it here. Always reverting. You can adjust the tint. All sorts of different things that you can adjust here and play with your photo. Uh, one of the cool things you can do is you can use the eyedropper tool here. Uh, you can select a kind of neutral point in the photo and have it adjust based on that neutral point. Now in addition to these specific controls you can also go to effects. And effects of course has these special effects like edge blur and boost. But you can use these buttons at the top to do things like lighten a photo and you can press it repeatedly to keep lightening it. Or you can make it warmer or cooler. Another thing that comes in handy is the ability to be able to straighten a uh, photo. So you can see here I've got a horizon line. It's a little crooked so I'm going to use straighten. And I can see now the grid. I can see how the horizon here is a little higher than over here. So I'm going to change the angle ever so slightly. And in doing so I'm going to crop out a little bit of the photo so it remains rectangular. But now I've got something that's perfectly fit into the area. So the interesting thing about doing this in iPhoto is you always have the original there. So here I've uh, corrected the red eye, I've enhanced the photo and made it a little warmer. And I can go back here and this is the photo now that I have in iPhoto. But I can always go to edit and go to revert to original and it will remove all those changes and go back to the original photo. So you always have the opportunity to go back to the original photo. iPhoto never gets rid of it. So here's a look at what you could do in iPhoto 11. Now this is strictly for editing photos that you've taken. If you want to do something more like create graphics then you probably have to move to a, another tool say like Photoshop. Till next time this is Gary with MacMost Now. Want more video tutorials? Just go to MacMost.com, click on the videos link at the top of the page and then you can view all of the hundreds of MacMost videos by category.